arranged to be a Muslim-free zone. This headline appears on the front page for the website of the Gun Cave Indoor Shooting Range in Hot Springs, Arkansas. The proprietor of the business, Jan Morgan, who touts herself as a nationally recognized advocate, also penned a 10-point justification for her decision and cited anecdotal instances which she says led her to make the decision. While it is true that gun ranges and stores have a legal right to refuse service to any individual they have a reasonable suspicion may have violent intent, there is no blanket permission to ban anyone from service based solely on religious affiliation. Realizing this, Morgan is fully expecting that she will be sued for her decision under the federal laws, particularly the Civil Rights Act, which prevents discrimination based on religion. Additionally, since it is not really possible to determine whether a person is Muslim based on appearance, Morgan is also probably going to be accused of discrimination based on race and national origin. During a televised National Football League game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots, a penalty flag was thrown against Chief safety Hussein Abdullah for unsportsmanlike conduct when he slid to his knees in the end zone after intercepting a pass and scoring a touchdown. League rules prohibit excessive celebration, however they do allow an exception for religious praise. Abdullah, a devout Muslim who took a year off from professional play in order to make a pilgrimage to Mecca, had actually gone to his knees in order to bow his head and give thanks to Allah for causing the Patriots quarterback Tom Brady to unintentionally throw the ball in Abdullah's direction. After the game, Abdullah was quick to note that he did not believe the penalty was issued for the prayer, but rather for the long slide which preceded it. Ibrahim Hooper, a spokesman for CAIR, the Council for American Islamic Relations, issued a statement reading to prevent the appearance of a double standard. We urge league officials to clarify the policy on prayer and recognize that the official made a mistake in this case. For its part, the league moved quickly, tweeting, Abdullah should not have been penalized. Officiating mechanic is not to flag player who goes to ground for religious reasons. Later on, the NFL criticized officials' flag. However, the Referees Association quickly responded by pointing out that the penalty had been graded correct by the league. Using the pseudonym Dave, Pastor Bob Ripley has for some time been answering questions posed by those suffering a crisis of faith on the Rational Doubt blog on the Patheos website. Dave was known to be an ex-pastor and an atheist by those he was responding to. However, what most did not know was that Pastor Ripley was also still maintaining a weekly column for the London Free Press out of London, Ontario, a column he's written for over a quarter of a century ever since he first began his ministry as a devout Christian. Over the past several years, Ripley lost his faith resigned from his position as Senior Minister of the Metropolitan United Church in Toronto, and has now written a book about his experience coming to terms with his dwindling and ultimately extinguished faith in the divinity of Christ. He came out as an atheist in his column and exposed his alter ego, Dave, in advance of the publication of his book, Life Beyond Belief, A Preacher's Deconversion. He did not do so without fear of reprisal. As Ripley noted in his column, all of us, religious or not, should value authenticity. If we do, then we should encourage not only critical thinking, but also intellectual honesty without fear of rejection or reprisal. My disclosure carries the risks of losing friends and facing disappointment and disapproval from those who once admired my spirituality. Belief, however, is not something you can fake or should fake.